turning on my fan because it's so hot. Hello everybody, it's me Savannah. As you guys know, once you hit Halloween, it's kind of that moment of like, when you're up on the mountain but not at the top part where you can like see and everything is clear and beautiful, aka Christmas break, you're just kind of like at the very last minute where you have no energy and you just want to get to the top because you hate exercise. AKA the time between Halloween and Thanksgiving break. So during that time, I like to call that the mid-school crisis. Ask for extra credit by all your teachers because you're about to get all of your grades back. But anyways, if you feel like this and you are currently thinking to yourself to drop out right now, because I'm gonna tell you how to survive. First thing to do in this kind of situation Yes, Miss Carlton, I totally did your homework. It's right here. Hold on, I'll get it. Uh, I guess, um, yeah, about <laughs> you have to do your homework. How much time? I don't have time to do all my homework. You have time, okay? This little device, yes, I know that's Maddie Healy, and yes, I know it's distracting. This is a no-go. See this? This is a backpack. I'm gonna show you what's in the backpack. It's like a short little guru video or something. This is my binder. What's this? Oh, a binder of all the things I can correct. What's this? Oh, it's a huge Ziploc bag of candy corn that my friend gave me. This is your way to organize. You have to stay organized. And this book will be your Luke Hemmings. This will be your One Direction. This will be you, okay? You will live through this book for four years out of your high school. Actually, you'll only live through this once because it's only 2014, so disregard that fact. And it will be the way you keep track of everything I just showed you. When you get to this point of the year and you just don't wanna open this up because you don't wanna unzip your bag because it takes too much effort, do it anyways. Do it for your GPA. Do not procrastinate. I am guilty. I'm 17 years old. I'm not even legal to drive yet because I waited two years after I turned 15 to get my permit. It is so hot because of the stem lining. I should just drop out of school. But there's this website, it's so cool, is you can actually schedule the time that you want that website to block certain websites on your computer. Okay, you get distracted by watching Netflix or Hulu and Twitter. What you can do is you can go to that website, you can set certain times and set different URLs to like those websites and it will like not let you on them until that time is up and it's gonna stop you from procrastinating. So you're welcome. Link in the down below thing. The third thing to do to survive this crisis, what I have figured out that helps me um, when I'm under stress, Plato's Closet. What I started doing is every time that I achieved a goal, whether it was to get an A on a test, I would reward myself and I found these. Tell me these are not the greatest things you've ever seen before, okay? Do something for yourself, find a goal, achieve it, and win. Because even though your shoes won't buy you a GPA, they will look pretty darn cute underneath your little graduation gown when you're walking down the aisle to pop in circumstance. The fourth thing that I have to tell you when you have lost all motivation in the middle of the year Make a summer bucket list. Because the thing about bucket lists is it's something about the mental achievements. Maybe you want to go Black Friday shopping or something. You put that on your bucket list. Or maybe it's to visit a friend in Idaho. Maybe that's one. If you make that bucket list, what you can do is kind of like count down the days until that happens. And you'll be like 
noticing it goes by so fast. Not to mention, I look like literal trash because I'm wearing a school t-shirt. There, I feel like an actual real citizen. Final tip, have fun. This is gonna sound so cliche, and you guys are gonna think like I'm the weirdest person ever and that I actually like school. Just listen, okay? You are only in high school like four years out of however many years you live. High school isn't that much time in your life and you should literally just enjoy every minute of it. Anyways, my Instagram, my Twitter, and my Snapchat will all be below, so you should follow those and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. At this time next year, we gon' be the same two kids with a dream.